Crafters, it's me, Jen Evers, with Quality Crafts, and today is another 1 in 10 by Jen. Just as a reminder, we have switched this to only Wednesdays. I had originally switched them to Mondays and Wednesdays, but we're just going to go back to Wednesdays. Um, there really isn't enough coming in to warrant doing two days, and it's much easier on my schedule to do it this way. So I've got a card uh, base already set up here, and I think it's an odd... Well, four and a quarter by six. So it's just a little bit of an odd shape. Um, but I'm going to go with it. And our scraps come today to us from Brenda Gentry. So thank you, Brenda. Little hearts for you for sending your stuff in. We're going to check out what Brenda sent us. And then we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes. If you're new, I take these scraps from whomever decides to send them in. I set my timer for 10 minutes. And then I create a card for them. So it's called 1 in 10 by Jen from Mailbox to Masterpiece. The hope is that you get a really fun card that I can send back to you. So, wow, there is a ton of stuff in here. This is definitely going to make more than one card. Um, but basically what I do is if I can make more than one card, I make my card for that person, and then I save all the materials for crap in the new year. So save the date if you're the type of person that wants to go ahead and spend the day or the evening, um, you know, reeling in the new year with people who are crafty minded and not going out and drinking. If you're that type of person, save the date. 8 p.m. to midnight Central Standard Time, we will be here and all these uh, scraps that are left over I'll be using for that. Also, hit the subscribe button if you like this um, series because this is number 151. So you can go back and watch all 150 of them. Plus, I've got ones that I've done in just five minutes. So that might be of interest to you as well. So I've got some fun ribbon, it looks like. Lots of different papers. And I've got 10 minutes to make a card, so let's get to it. 10-minute timer on the way. You know what? i got to grab my little guy. Because otherwise... You're not going to be able to see that timer going with the bright lights. So we'll just bump him up here. There we go. Hopefully I won't knock him down. Most of the time, I start out my card with some kind of a base. And I'm just going to look at the papers and see what floats my boat. Yellow would be beautiful up there. I was kind of hoping for a blue, but... Looks like no blue, so I'm going to hit up yellow first. Yellow is really, excuse me, really a fun color. And I'm going to do glue today. Wet glue. I'm going to make this like my sunshiny top. Now, I don't normally look at any of the stuff that's in these. I'm doing this on the fly from just looking at it and going, okay, what can I do with this? What would look really cool here? What kind of a card can I make? I'm going to use the brown down here because that's going to be kind of like my dirt. So I'm just going to make a little mark there and cut that off. That I want to go down here. And I think I either have a die or maybe I'll just use my scissors. I think probably just my scissors. I'm going to create some grass here because we've got a lot of little birdhouses. Now, if I had a little bird stamp around that I knew where to get and I didn't have to, like, monkey around and run around looking for it, I would do that. But honestly, I don't think I do. This is really cute. I might use some of that. There's all these little bird houses that are little cutouts. They're amazing. But I think first I'm going to work on, oh, so some of them are paper and some of them are chipboard. Love it. This is super cute. So much paper. Definitely not going to be able to keep, you know, all of it on here. There's a little thanks. That's perfect. A little congrats. Lots of fun little things to work with. So I'm going to get my scissors and I'm going to do my grass. So we've got some really nice green paper here. A little birdie told me. That's fun. So I'll make sure to cut it that way in case I want to use that later. And I'm going to make that grass just a little bit tall. So that not all that dirt shows. Maybe I would put it like right there. That would be perfect. I'm just going to make a little mark here with my fingernail so I know right where to cut that. By the way, we are doing crops where anybody and everybody can just come and crop or just come and chat. Whatever you want to do. They're super fun. I highly recommend you guys checking it out. If you join our group, 
which is Quality Crafts on Facebook. You will be directed there by pretty much anyone that's in the group can tell you how to get there. There's always a link every Tuesday, Thursday, and every other Saturday at the top of our, our group so you can find us. And um, all you got to do is click on that. And if you've got it download, I don't think you have to download the program is what I've been told. But if you download the program, it's just you get in so much quicker, I think. So all I'm doing is I'm just cutting this I, I did head on and then I did like a little bit of crooked because then it makes the grass look really like like real grass where it's not you know all exactly perfectly the same which turns out really cute all right I'm gonna get rid of some of those scrapos and I'm gonna glue this down which is perfect because I only need a little bead right across the bottom while you're clicking that subscribe button if you enjoy these types of videos Go ahead and invite a friend as well. Click the bell icon too to let, um, you can like pick, I guess it drops down a menu now. You can pick like, do you want to be, um, let know, do you want them to let you know when all my videos go live? Do you want to, you know, just some of them? It's, I usually just click, um, that bell and click all if it's a channel that I really like. I don't worry about like which ones and whatnot. I love this thanks. That's going to pop out really good on the brown. And then I'm thinking I want to put... I do really like this. This would make it really pop there. I'm going to go ahead and put a line of that there using not my ATG because I think that that may be just a little bit too loose, but I'm going to use this double sided tape because it's really strong. You can get this on um, Amazon, not Amazon, uh, qualitycrafts.com actually. We have some. It's 60 yards for $7, this one. And as you can see, you can tear it. You can cut it too, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna put mine across here first and then I can cut off what I don't use. So not only do I show you how to use like the tools and tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff, but I also sell this kind of stuff. So if you were unfamiliar with that, you can check us out at koalitycrafts.com. That's our URL. Best, best way. We love it when you use the store, but the best way to get the best service, in my opinion, is to let us know what you want from the store, especially if you want to combine that with any of our other um, sales. Because then I can combine everything, I can save you on shipping, and you can get it all delivered together. That is super cute. I'm glad that you threw that in there. Miss Brenda Gentry, these are such cool things here. I'm so excited. I want to put... Uh, like a little pole for my little thing. So I'm just going to cut this brown down a little bit. I have a few minutes left. So if I put a couple up here, I could cut this actually twice. I'm going to pick out my two favorite ones. So I think putting on more than two might be just a little bit of overkill. So these two, I think, are probably... This one's my favorite one. I'm going to go ahead and just rip this. Because nobody's going to see that underneath my mailbox. And I'm going to put the mailbox. By the way, I don't keep these cards in case you missed the beginning. If you send in your scraps, you get the card I make sent back to you. So it's super fun. Super interactive. So we need a little bit of pop dot here. I sell these rolls that I just really love. You just cut down whatever size piece you want. It's super fun. There's little teeny birdies I could cut out. Um, I'm down to two minutes, so I'm not sure how many I would be able to fussy cut at this point. But if I put this one here, I may have time to cut one out. Let's see if I do. I need a little fussy, fussy scissor. Maybe we'll go with, um, maybe we'll go with the little red one. I'm going to have to leave a little bit of a white border because they are pretty tiny. So some people 
and by some people I mean um, that are close to me, you know who you are, like to send stuff to like see if they can totally stump me so that I can't even create with it, just to see what would happen. Um, and a lot of people send in stuff that matches. I'm up for the challenge no matter how you want to do it. I just think it's super fun. Um, so you decide what you want to do. Do you want to send in stuff that matches and get a really cute card back? Do you want to just make it like super duper hard for me to make one? Uh oh, I lost the bird now. Am I going to have time to make another one? Rut roll. He just went flying. I only have a minute left now. Oh, there he is. Sweet. Glad I found him. So I'm almost out of time. So here's a little bird. I'm just going to like, let's just put him, I don't know, like he's standing right here. There we go. Little birdie standing right there. I'm going to put the thanks down here so we've got a little sentiment. I don't think I'm going to get to the inside of this card today, but sometimes I do the inside as well. This is super cute. And put the thanks over here. And then maybe since we do have a little bit of time, this is perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put in this piece of card because it matches and it's so cute. It's got these little hearts on it. And we're going to go ahead and put in just a little, another little, little, another little guy here. Oh, there we go. So cute. Do we want to do a little, yeah, we could do a, nope, I'm going to run out of time. No stick. Alrighty. So here's the inside. We've got a little birdie and we've got some really cute colors that match the outside. Our sentiment says thanks. We've got all this fun grass here. And then I cut out a little birdie for on that little bird birdhouse. Fun and cute. And this is going to be sent out to you, Brenda Gentry. Thank you so much for participating. Any of you guys now who think this is fun and want to participate, join us at Quality Crafts on Facebook. And always feel free to ask us questions. Our community has grown. We've got, um, we've got a garage sale type thing called the Budget Shop where you can buy um, lovingly used stuff on that shop. So come check that out. If you don't know how to get there, just uh, email me. Actually, the best, fastest way to get a hold of me or Penny um, is to just private message us on Facebook. That's just the totally quickest way to do it. So you can send your stuff in for this, or you can check out that sale every other Saturday, which means this coming Saturday will be a sale day. Um, you come to this channel right here, right wherever we are today, at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and we have a sale. Those are super fun as well. A lot of people just really enjoy them. Um, even if you can't buy or don't want to buy or just want to come check it out, just come on over, check out the rules, see how it works. And if you really love this community, like a lot of us do, join us on Patreon. Go ahead and give us your best pledge. Make sure that our community can keep going through all of the COVID and everything that is, because this is a great place to connect with people who are loving, generous giving. There is no commitment in my group. There is no drama. So it is a wonderful place to be on the net. And I cannot wait to see you guys next video.